Invicta FC kicked off its 2020 campaign with an exciting night of action that featured a lot of atom weight action. In our main event, Jinyu Fry defeated Ashley Cummins. Hey everybody, I'm TJ DeSantis along with Julie Kedzie. Tonight here cage side in Kansas City. We talked at the top of the show that there would be a focal point on the atom weight division and the atom weights showed their talent in a really big way. They showed their talent and they showed their depth. There is definitely a division here to be keeping an eye on and a vacant title, if I'm not mistaken. Absolutely. We'll talk about that in a moment. But we kick things off in the Bantamweight division when the Predator Tina Pettigrew took on the hard-hitting Hawaiian in Monica Franco. You no, know, it had been a while since Monica Franco had gotten a chance to fight, but she came back with a vengeance. Huge spinning hook kick right there and a lot of really hard strikes from clinch positions. Monica Franco making her Invicta FC debut count, getting her hand raised, putting her record to 2-0. Oh. Linda Mahalik was back when she took on veteran Jillian DeCourcy, and they talked a lot about this fight taking place in the clinch. It did, but Jillian DeCourcy showed off her jiu-jitsu skills. She certainly did. Um, the Brazilian jiu-jitsu brown belt was able to reverse some really tricky positions. She was able to stay on top and really showed a very brilliant showcase of what jiu-jitsu is all about in MMA. The Fury, Victoria Leonardo was back in action tonight. She took on the jiu-jitsu player in Aaron Blanchfield, and Blanchfield, cold-blooded, looked like a world-class striker. A world-class striker indeed. You know, she dropped her with a round kick from with her left leg, a surprise round kick, in the first round of the fight, and then finished her with another left leg round kick in the second round of the fight. I mean, huge KO. Big statement from Blanchfield. Went back to the Atomweight division when Wildfire Kelly D'Angelo took on half pint Alicia Zapatella, and Zapatella showed off that wrestling offensive that earned her a win. It did, and you know, this was a redemptive, probably very emotional win for Zapatella. Ke Kelly D'Angelo put on a good performance, but Zapatella really showed some new striking abilities and showed why she's a world class wrestler. In our co main event, Miranda Maverick, fresh off her Phoenix Series victory, took on the veteran Pearl Gonzalez. You know, it was one of those fights where a uh, veteran maybe versus up and comer, but don't you dare call Miranda Maverick a prospect. She wants to be the number one title contender. She wants to vie for that. And even though Pearl Gonzalez put up a really, really good defense and a really, really good uh, fight, it just wasn't her night. It was all Miranda Maverick. Fear the Maverick is what you, you should do if you fight in the flyweight division. Adam Waits took center stage when Ashley Cummins took on the now former champion in Jin Yu Fry. It wasn't a title defense like Fry had expected, but she showed why she has the skills to become a champion. She certainly did. She showed why she has the skills and the heart to become a champion. And, you know, she entered in the first round, maybe not as tuned in, but she got progressively more dangerous as the fight went on. Ashley Cummins still stayed a force in that fight, still remained a very strong atom weight, but in the end, it was Jin Yu Fry who took the victory, if not the belt. Jin Yu Fry will go back to the drawing board and figure out what is next for herself in her career, but you can guarantee that if it's at 115 or 105, she is a force to be reckoned with. Invicta FC has a quick turnaround coming up on March 6th, just four weeks from tonight. We are back in action for the wildly popular Phoenix Series, a one-night tournament unlike any other in combat sports. I can't wait for it. I can't wait either. I love tournaments. Phantom Weights will take center stage on that night, and we will crown a brand-new Invicta FC Phantom Weight champion when Julia Sorlienko takes on the undefeated battle angel in Lisa Verzosa and a tournament and a title fight in one night. It's uh, it's a combat sports fans uh, dream, I think, coming up on March 6th. You better not miss that one. Yeah, don't miss it. Also, don't miss the show if you did. It's available right now on UFC Fight Pass. For Julie Kedzie, I'm TJ DeSantis. Good night from Kansas City.